Suppose I sit in a car and I want to go from Bangalore to Mysore. But I don't know the direction of Mysore. I don't have any Google Maps. I don't know whom to ask. Do you think I can reach Mysore? It'll be difficult, right? And that is what used to happen when we started our career. Thankfully, in the, this era, that's not happening. But yeah, there are a lot of people who are telling a lot of things. But it is very important to choose the opinions which matters to you and skip the opinions which doesn't matter. However, that's not the topic of today. Today's topic is top research areas in demand in the next 30 years. Why I'm going to talk about this is because the direction part which I just said, told you. So if you know the direction, if you have the Google map, you can easily reach from Bangalore to any part of the country or the world. So the same way, today, this video is going to be your blueprint, a complete Google map, a complete direction video, a 360 degree support video, which will help you understand what is going to happen in the next 30 years in the field of research and which direction you should choose. Now, carefully, we have crafted this uh, particular document for all of you, which I have already shared on our, all our social media. So I spoke to 120 different uh, life science, biosciences, uh, senior scientists uh, across the globe. And we collected all the data which they had. So these people are working in different labs, different uh, companies in different parts of the world. So different research locations on different areas they're working. And they came up with their ideas. Okay, so we sent a survey form and uh, then we spoke to them. And they have shared at least five to six fields, which is going to grow exponentially in the future. And the first and foremost, which they told me is neuroscience. Many of the experts have voted for neuroscience. Now, neuroscience is growing on the back of the computer brain interface, which is happening. The neuro circuits, neural circuits, which is going to come up in the future. Neurodegenerative and neurodevelopmental disorders, which exist today in the world. And neuroplasticity. So all these three fields of research, if you want to make a career in neuroscience, is going to grow by leaps and bounds in the next 30 years. Now, this is not my prediction. This is a survey and a prediction of all the 120 senior scientists whom we contacted. Right. So the first one. First field of the future is neuroscience. Coming to the second field of today is CRISPR. Now, as we know, billion dollar companies are being built out of CRISPR. It's a highly scalable field. It is highly effective, efficient and uh, cost effective field. So there are three uh, potential growth areas which uh, CRISPR will have. One is gene therapy. The second is synthetic biology and the third is disease modeling. Now, these three particular, these three fields are going to grow under CRISPR, under CRISPR's belly. And there is a chance that better therapies, better than CRISPR are going to come up in the future. So if you are already a CRISPR scientist, you will be easily able to pivot to uh, the, the upcoming uh, trend and become a uh, superior scientist. Instead of a senior scientist, you will become a superior scientist. So CRISPR is one field of the future which no doubt is going to grow leap and bounds, gene therapy, synthetic uh, biology and disease modeling. The third field, which obviously is an evergreen field, which obviously we call it as a pharma field, and that is drug discovery. Now, drug discovery actually has improved a lot in the past decade, and it is accelerating. And our prediction, our internal prediction, uh, along with all the scientists who, who have whom we met and talked, is... Artificial intelligence is going to predict 1,000 drug molecules per year at this juncture itself. And in future, it will be maybe 100,000 molecules per year. So AI in drug discovery is one thing. Okay, The second thing which is happening already in uh, our uh, drug discovery process, that is drug repurposing. Okay, So you, uh, you, you use remdesivir for COVID, stuff like that. So uh, drug repurposing. And the third is gene editing for disease modeling. That's where, that's where CRISPR overlaps with your drug discovery. But hey, drug discovery can further be accelerated with the next field which is in line and that is bioinformatics. Now bioinformatics and the tools which we have are highly scalable. It's like a stack which can be used for anything. It's like clay, you can mold anything out of it. So bioinformatics is a field of the future and it is growing leap and bounds. It's it has got enormous potential and I see and when the scientists agree that there are three fields which is going to grow. One is single cell genomics, 
multi-omics integration, and then AI, ML in bioinformatics. That is obviously artificial intelligence and machine learning in bioinformatics. So if we closely see CRISPR, drug discovery, and bioinformatics are all going to overlap with each other. So if you have an interest in any of these three, you could be potentially working on all the three. So that's the beauty of biosciences. It's all cross-domain functions. Now, having said that, this brings me to the next part of today's video where there is something which is commercializable, which is already being commercialized and it is going to grow because obviously we want more commercialization and more products. And that is where bioprocess and biomanufacturing comes where we are producing the real uh, products. Now, currently there is a batch process of manufacturing, but what manufacturers want is continuous process manufacturing and a lot of research is happening in that. So continuous manufacturing is one potential field of the future where a lot of research is happening and it is going to grow. The second is obviously, like I said, AI and ML, that is artificial intelligence and machine learning in bioprocess technology. The third is advanced cell and gene therapies, applying those technologies into the bioprocess and biomanufacturing strategy. So, if we see, again, this overlaps a bit with, um, so obviously, artificial intelligence and machine learning. So overall, all of these will have artificial intelligence and machine learning as an integrative part. So if you want to get into any field of biosciences, if you have experience in AIML, you can get in anywhere. And there are a lot of courses available at Biotechnica, which will help you. Now, the last part of today's video, where I'm going to talk about the latest pandemic, so virology, you know, so basically I'll term it as immunology. So immunotherapy, microbiome immunology and personalized immunology. These are the three areas on which a lot of research will happen in the next 30 years. And if you want to make a career in immunology, nothing like it. You have several branches of immunology and it is going to grow because obviously as humans, we want to be less impacted by diseases and we want to have higher uptime and lesser downtime. So that is where we come to an end of this video. I told you five to six branches. The first is neuroscience, CRISPR, drug discovery, bioinformatics, bioprocess and manufacturing and immunology. Six fields of the future where you can make a career today and become a senior scientist by 2030. Now, that will have a tremendous impact on your career as well as the field because whatever contributions you're going to make in this field is going to create a dent in the universe. And I firmly believe that each student, each job seeker and each junior scientist today who is watching this video has tremendous potential to become the torch bearer of our industry of the tomorrow. That is why I made this video. I hope you liked it. Let me know in the comment section if, and if you have any demands, any uh, feedback or any video request, you can drop me an email at shaker at biotechnica.org. I personally reply to each one of you. Of course, sometimes it becomes a little overwhelming, but I still do. And I would love to know your feedback, your opinion on today's video. Comment below and let me know how can we further improve our channel and help you more in 